For Penn State to get an early lead here on the road in front of a hostile crowd. They lead 12-0 overall in the match after three matches. Now Dale here's, Sanderson cannot ask for more than this. This is the matchup that we've been looking forward to. Two top 10 ranked wrestlers. Cameron Wade, number six for Penn State, versus number nine, Tucker Lane out of Nebraska, the other senior here in this Husker class. Tucker Lane, 20-3 on the year. Cameron Wade, 18-4. So, yes, very good wrestlers indeed. In fact, Tucker Lane needs two more wins to get 100 in his career here at Nebraska. It'll be a very good feat for him. Only 19 other wrestlers in Nebraska history have gotten 100 wins. And you think of Nebraska wrestling history, a lot of great wrestlers Jordan there. 100 Burrows, wins is, is absolutely. something special. Still no points here in this first period of play as the two big guys, they call them heavyweights here. Tucker Lane, Cameron Wade. And it's just locked up. You don't see a lot of quick moves with the heavyweights. They really just try to get one takedown and go from there. Both wrestlers just leveraging for strength. As and there gets the leg by Tucker Lane trying to get the takedown. Look at the great balance there from Cameron Wade though he gets out wow. of it. And no takedown. Boy, the fans wanted that one badly. The agility and just sting on one leg and then if you noticed his arms his hands always in motion keeping his balance and never going down great job there by Cameron Wade what would have been big points there for Tucker Lane as there's not a lot of points usually in the heavyweight ranks usually a low scoring affair Wade also a senior two-time national qualifier the last two years 85 and 37 all-time for his career or so He's approaching triple digits as well. May not reach it, but still a very good record for Cameron Wade. He's a senior as well. Two seniors going up in this match for heavyweights. He's from Twinsburg, Ohio. Is still nothing going here in the first period of play, 0-0. One minute left to go here. And now a looks like Wade gets in there. He's got lane and two Third. points and a, it's like a takedown there. So 2-0, he's got back points too. But now Tucker, Tucker Lane Lane's going for the pin. He won't Wade. get it though, he will not get the pin. It is still 2-0. Cameron Wade over Tucker Lane. Sanderson on his feet trying to bark instructions. Wade just has him in a bear hug basically of his upper body there as his legs, arms wrapped around Lane. But it's not enough to get any back points. There's no, there's no points here. And they're gonna call a stalemate. Boy, an exciting moment there. No points for Tucker look Lane after takedown. all of it. Yeah, look at this. They give him two points for the takedown. So two nothing. Cameron Wade now leads. 24 seconds left to go in this first period. Yeah, as Wade takes the top position, trying to wrap up Lane and turn him around, but he won't. Lane's too strong down there, too big. Mark Manning just shouting instructions at his wrestler, Tucker Lane. He knows this is a big match for his crew to get some points on the board. Seven seconds left to go. No back points there. The ref is indicating there's gonna be maybe some penalty points, but nothing, and now that's the end of the first period. Second period, excuse me. No, it is the second period. As it is 2-0, Cameron Wade over Tucker Lane after that takedown near the end of the period. And now we start the second period. Yeah, we start the second period here with Nebraska trailing 12-0 in the match, 2-0 here as Cameron Wade leads. And that'll be Very a, quick escape by Tucker Lane. Two seconds and he got a point, so 2-1 now. That's tough to do from the bottom position too. Nice escape for Tucker Lane, showing some quick moves for the big guy. Back up top to the stalemate on top, and he shoots the legs, not gonna get anything there. Really in this duel, Nebraska needs a win here to stay within striking distance of Penn State. A 12-0 lead already after three wrestlers. If Tucker Lane can get just a win, even the three points, they'll go a long way for Nebraska. Penn State still has two number one overall ranked play wrestlers coming up to go in this match with David Taylor at 165 and Frank Molinero at 149. So Nebraska, absolutely, they do need to get the points here in this match. Right now, not looking good for the the hometown Huskers. Nebraska coming off of a big win against Wisconsin. 36 to nothing dual win, so riding momentum, but boy, when you face off with a Penn State number two in the country and 
coached by one of the all-time greatest wrestlers in college history. That's a big, uh, big challenge for you as a squad and as a team. It sure is. And now we see the locked hands here as Tucker Lane trails 2-1 to Cameron Wade, the senior. A senior matchup here by both guys. And now they just force themselves out of bounds in a bit of tiredness there. 29 seconds to go here in the second period back to the middle. In second period, Tucker Lane looking to at least uh, tie it up, if not take the lead before the period. Only 10 seconds left to go, though. Penn State done a good job of taking the crowd out of it right away with that first pin, Then they've won every match since then. As this crowd is dead, and that's the end of the second period with Tucker Lane trailing Cameron away 2-1. to one. Really, if you look in the crowd, a few scattering Penn State fans around here as well, and just a good turnout overall here at the NU Coliseum as senior night. Nebraska does a good job filling the stadium. Tucker Lane gives an escape off of the center of the match to Cameron Wade. So now he trails three to one. Again, both. Interesting strategy there by Tucker Lane. You know, Tucker Lane needs big points here. And so it's easier to get a takedown with both at standing position. He's gonna need it now with 1.30 to go. As he goes for the legs, he's trying, he's got wraps around both legs as he's trying to flip over, but Wade's trying to flip him over too. Almost back points for Wade on lane as they flip around, it's gonna be a reversal. Cameron Wade, two for Cameron Wade, five. Nice job there by Wade as he got him nearly upside down and Tucker Lane could not hold on to the ankle lock. Five to one now as that's a huge Reversal there as an escape there for Tucker Lane. Gets it back to 5 2, but he's going to need some points quickly. There's 57 seconds to go here in this final period. Look for Tucker Lane. He tried to go from one ankle to another, and Wade was just too quick for him there. And so Wade gets valuable two point uh, uh, reversal. 5 2 lead now, 43 seconds left to go. A huge reversal indeed as Lane was trying to get something around there, but he could not do it. 30 seconds left to go. Look for Tucker Lane to just try to go into the attack here. And he goes to the leg, and it's going to be a good reversal, reversal there by there. Wade. Wade was just too quick for him. And that'll probably do it for this round unless Lane can somehow get around 14 seconds to go here in this, this third period. And that will probably do it for this match. Ten se or five As seconds left. Tucker Lane just going to pit her out there at the end. And it's going to be a 15-0 to zero lead in this match for Penn State. A not good start. As Cameron Wade, you can see there the champion.